Evening trainers and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Safari Guide. As I'm making this video, I recently just used Shuckle in our week three, season three gym match against the fairy type gym. And that video is now uploaded on YouTube. If you have not seen it, you definitely need to watch it because Shuckle plays an integral part in defeating the fairy type gym that Trevor has made. It is an excellent video and Shuckle is hilarious in it. All right, without further, further ado, Shuckle, one of my favorite Pokemon, just like the rest. I started off with my favorite Pokemon. I decided I would do my favorite Pokemon videos first. And then, you know, uh, then we'd go into like meta Pokemon and typically, uh, you know, just what people are using and then you know, a little bit of unique builds that I come up with here and there. So Shuckle is num Galar number 227 and National number 213. In gold, silver, and crystal, it states that the berries it stores in its vase-like shell decompose and become a gooey liquid. It stores berries inside its shell to avoid attacks. It hides beneath rocks and remains completely still. The fluid secreted by its toes carves holes in rocks for nesting and can be mixed with berries to make a drink. This Pokemon is a walking brewery. All it is doing is fermenting berries and hiding underneath rocks. That's it. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, it stores berries inside its shell to avoid attacks. It hides beneath rocks. And then the berries stored in his vase-like shell eventually become a thick, pulpy juice. He's making wine. Shuckle is known as the Mold Pokemon. Shuckle does not have any prior evolutions, and his egg group is Bug. He was first introduced in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. He is about 2 feet tall and weighs about 45.2 pounds with an even gender ratio of 50-50, primary type bug, secondary type rock, and weaknesses to steel, water, and rock. However, he does have resistances to normal and poison. His base stat total is 505, which is very high considering that four of his stats are, below, are 20 or below. His health, attack, Special attack and speed are abysmal. However, his defense and special defense are the highest in the game at 230. This Pokemon will give people fits, and I will show you how. He has three abilities: sturdy, which means he cannot be knocked out with one hit, with one hit. Uh, also, one hit KO moves cannot knock it out either. Um, this is the ability we're going to be running just to, uh, there aren't very many instances where Shuckle's going to get one hit, but just in case, this is what, what you want to do. Gluttony, um, makes the Pokemon eat a hell berry when its health drops to half or less. Um, typically it's like, I don't know, I think it's like one third health is whenever it eats a berry. This is if it hits 49.9%, he's eating that berry. His hidden ability is contrary, which makes stat changes have an opposite effect. Um, this could be useful, but I, I don't see the usefulness over the obvious usefulness of Sturdy. Um, you can send Shuckle out on the Pokemon that's set up, and with Sturdy and with his defense and special defense, you can you know uh, kind of put a hitch hitch in their giddy up, so to say. Um, this is the Hazard Setter standard build. Um, I only did the level 100 on this video because, I mean, it it's basically the same for level 50 and I needed the space. So, basically, you max out the health, you max out the defense, you run a defense nature, and like Impish. Preferably not get rid of the special attack because most of his attacks are physical. Um, Again, I don't mess with speed unless I know that I'm going to go up against a Trick Room team. The focus is to survive and set hazards on this build. If you want a good example of this build, 
Cameron in season one of the Pokemon Draft League did an excellent job using Shuckle as a lead. Um, go and watch some of his videos. They're excellent. Um, but yeah, basically you cause early game chaos and speed control with sticky webs. He has Stealth Rock, which I recommend over Spikes or um, any other entry hazards um, that do damage just because um, Stealth Rock, uh, it, it hits flying types unlike spikes and i just i think it's more it does more damage to flying types and rock type or and fire types i think it's more useful especially it destroys charizard um knock off this is another uh this is just kind of be annoying you know make sure that knock off some items put you know put that hitch in the giddy up and then toxic um you know stall do get a toxic off stall a little bit that's once you get your sticky webs up, which they lower your opponent's base speed whenever they're switched in. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I like to use mental herb on him. Um, I should mention this. I like to use mental herb so that people can't taunt me on the first move. So I know that I'm going to get a sticky web off and I know that I'm going to be able to get speed control for basically the entire game. Unless there's a court change, of course. Alternative items, leftovers and citrus berry. Um, most people run leftovers. You can run leftovers if you just want to make them bulkier and citrus berry um, for, you know, just a little burst of health. But yeah, um, so that is the pretty, pretty basic hazard st setter standard build. You can switch his defense and special defense and you could run a specially defensive shuckle. It just depends on which team you're going up against. So um, most people run the defense, though. Now, this is this is a very funny shuckle build that I recently used against Trevor's fairy type gym in week three, season three of the Pokemon Draft League. You will definitely want to watch this video. So the focus of this video is to use power split to boost attack by cutting your opponent's attack in half and adding that attack to your attack stat, and then you use Power Trick to switch your attack and defense stats. Not only does this cripple your opponent, but it also gives you a, a shuckle with a base attack stat of 614. Um, however, you need Trick Room or an ally with Speed Swap or Follow Me to get this to work um, because he still is very slow and um, you know he's not able to outspeed anything. So anything's going to outspeed him, going to hit him hard. Um, his defense will also be really, really low after he uses power trick. So he's very, very weak. So trick room is essential, um, that or speed swap, but there is a lot of variables that could mess up this build. So that's, that's the only problem is there, there is a lot of weaknesses, but if you get it to to work right, then it really works right. There's a lot of setup, but it really pays off. Um, again, I use the mental herb um, just to prevent a taunt whenever I'm trying to get a power split off. Um, that way, a power split or power trick. Um, if you're not able to get a good, um, if you're not able to get a good setup off, you could still use power trick or power split to really weaken your opponent and then knock off and stone edge knock off again to you know disrupt them and stone edge you know just because it's stab i like to use stone edge once i get the uh, power trick and split off but it does a lot of damage once you get shuffle going alternative items you can use life orb expert belts for more damage or you can still run leftovers if you want that health boost Alternative moves, rock slide, very useful in doubles. It has stab, very useful. Infestation, um, this is more just to keep them in place so they can't switch out on you. This is, if you know the Pokemon is gonna stall, then you can kind of take the time to set up, use infestation to keep them in. Um, Gyro Ball, um, it's really useful for a few Gigantamax, which you'll see in the video against Trevor's Fairy Gym. Uh, protect. This is, you know, protect. It's just always like a catch-all move. It's great to have, you know, just 
at least one Pokemon on your team with Protect. Just to, uh, you can read your opponent, try to figure out their strategy, and uh, absorb hits and doubles if you really need to. Alternative stats, like I said, you could switch from Impish to Careful Nature and do special defense for having max defense. Um, but that gives you less attack after the power trick. But it does give you more protection from special attackers, which is useful. Um, so it's really just up to you. But personally, I like to go full meme. And I like to get that max attack and just, just sweep. So... Uh, yeah, that is the meme shuckle build. I used this recently. It's excellent. Go ahead and check out that video. I'll post the link in the description as well as the other link for Cameron's videos for how to use the hazard setter shuckle build. And yeah, add this guy to your team. He's fun. He's fun to play with. He looks goofy. It's fun to beat people with it. This has been a product of Couch Pilot Games. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Couch Pilot Games, or you can join us on Facebook, where you can get updates on all things dealing with couch aviation. You can also join our Pokemon Draft League Facebook group, where you can converse with our trainers and our pilots, and you'll get updates on every single video that drops. Thank you so much for your time. We really enjoy having you here, and we love teaching you about Pokemon. We can't wait to bring you more and more content and to show you more Pokemon that you might not have thought about using for your teams. Thank you.